Good morning, hello, welcome. Today you're joining me on a journey to get my hair done. Um, I am just gonna be talking to you while I do my makeup. I probably won't show my whole makeup routine or whatever. I just don't have enough time to do a talking clip and my makeup, so I thought, why don't I combine them? But anyway, I am just getting my hair done again. I haven't gotten my hair done since end of June, I think it was. Maybe even end of May. It's been like quite a while and my roots are quite grown in. Yeah, it's been a while. I was supposed to go end of August beginning of September to get my roots touched up and all that stuff but if I'm being honest it's quite expensive <laughs> to get your hair done and it just wasn't in the cards for me in September and August so I'm getting it done now and I'm so anxious and nervous like I have a sharp pain in my stomach and I feel like I can barely breathe but <laughs> that's fine I just get so anxious I don't like small talk at hair salons I feel like they're judging me what would they be judging me about I have no idea Idea. That's just the way my brain is. Assume the worst and convince yourself it'll come true. <laughs> and then it's also in kind of like a weird part of town where there's only like street parking, which is fine. I don't love parallel parking, but I can do it if I have to. But the problem is there usually isn't any parking in that area, so I'm a little nervous about that. And last time, like, when I say I have bad luck, I mean it because I paid for parking, I paid for like, I can't remember how long, but I remember checking my phone in the hair salon as I'm paying and my parking had just run out. And I was like, okay, fine. Like, by the time I pay and get to my car, it'll be like five minutes past the time my parking meter ran out, so I should be fine, right? Like, there's no way I'm getting a ticket in the five minutes it takes me to pay and get to my car. Wrong. I had a parking ticket waiting for me on my car and it was literally two minutes before I got to my car. Like that parking officer must have been standing by my meter and waiting because I got a ticket and it was $20. So a little nervous about that because I don't want another parking ticket because like I already spend a lot of money on my hair and it sucks getting parking tickets. You know what I mean? My dark circles are so bad today too. <sighs> But anyway, I'm trying to be excited. I don't know why I don't get excited for like, like I'm obviously excited to get my hair done and I'm so lucky that I'm able to get my hair done. But just the thought of spending money makes me feel so guilty all the time. And I don't know why. Like I can be so excited for something, but the thought of paying a lot of money for certain things just makes me feel guilty and like worthless and like I shouldn't be doing it. I don't know. I have problems, but we're not gonna get into that. I'm trying to convince myself. Like I am excited and I've been wanting to get my hair done for a while because it's not looking amazing. And last time I just got a half head of foils, so that means like the underneath of my hair is still brown. This time I'm getting a full head of foils, so I'm excited that it'll all be the same color. So hopefully this time it'll get even lighter and my gray hair will blend even better, so I might not even need to get it done very often. Like I'll probably just get like a half head of foils, like maybe every six months, I don't know. But yeah, I'm not going in with too much expectations, I really don't know. I've actually been doing my makeup, sorry, I know they Things are probably loud in the background but I've been doing my makeup so much lately actually that I've kind of have a new everyday makeup routine that takes a way shorter amount of time than usual because I used to do like my quick makeup and it would take like 40 minutes to an hour and I was like why does it take me so long like this is like a natural makeup look I am rushing and it's taking so long but I just had too many steps so I've had a couple opportunities where I've been going places and my skin's been kind of bad so I'm like oh, I just need a quick little makeup look and then my new everyday makeup routine was born from that so but anyway god I'm not even kidding my stomach hurts so bad I'm kind of nervous and I haven't eaten because my stomach hurts so bad but I know this appointment is going to be like hours long and I'm going to be starving Mm-hmm. <laughs> It always looks so crazy when I do mascara on one eye. Like my eyes are so downturned and my lashes are so downturned, it's crazy. Okay, while we wait, I just let my mascara dry a little bit before I add any final touches. So we're just gonna do our lips real quick. I'm just gonna do a nude liner and then I think I want them to be a little bit more pink. So I might do that with a gloss. 
have no idea what I'm wearing, so it's always a difficult choice of what to do with the lips in case it like clashes with my outfit or something, you know? But I think I'm gonna do like a purpley kind of berry look because it's fall, why not? Oh, look what it did to my chapped lips. That's pretty gross. I'm gonna put some Blistex on to cover those chap lips. <laughs> and then we'll touch up the lips later, but Blistex for now. God, I have so much shit in here. It's literally insane. Okay, Blistex is on and de-chapping my lips. I don't know. And then I like to use this glitter I've been using as a mirror. It's the Diamond Bomb by Fenty Beauty in how many carats? I love it. And I just like to put it all over my lid. It's just so glittery. And I think it's just a fun little touch to like an otherwise like very simple makeup look. I don't know. And then I put it all over the lid and then kind of bring it up in the center of the crease. And then a little bit in the inner corners as well. I don't know. I like glitter, so. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of bottom mascara and we're done our makeup. Okay, time to pick out the outfit. I'm not kidding when I say I am in severe pain right now. Like, my stomach hurts, but I'm also on my period, so it's probably that. Um, I'm just a little nervous, you know? But the dilemma with what I wanna wear is it's like, only supposed to get to 17 degrees today which isn't very hot that's fine it's like fall whatever but when you're getting your hair done like as you know you wear that like cape thing and sometimes it gets like hot and i really don't like feeling too hot like i sweat a lot when i'm anxious but i also don't like feeling too cold because that makes me feel anxious too my brain is a hellscape like what can i say <laughs> but so i think i'm gonna wear something like layers like a t-shirt with a cardigan on top or something so i can remove and add as i go you know but i wanted to wear this blue cardigan with my white jeans but as I mentioned before, I'm on my period and I'm not fucking wearing white jeans. So I'm just gonna find something you can watch. Let's search. Honestly, I think I might just wear this. It's like a three quarter length funky little shirt. It's my like blue baggy jeans. It's just like a simple and easy outfit and I can't think of anything else to wear, so. And we're gonna be extra fun and wear our pink converse with it because I feel like it. There's not really a lot of pink in the shirt, but I think it'll look fine. And then obviously I don't have to do my hair because I'm going there to get my hair done, but it does look a little rough. I'll talk to you while I'm changing because I have some things to say. <laughs> Just wanna make sure you can't see my body. Sorry, I know my fan light is super bright and annoying. There we go. But anyway, I know when you get your hair bleached, like you're not really supposed to wash it like right before or anything like that. But I was kind of, you know how we do on this channel, we get depressed. I was kind of depressed and hadn't washed my hair for like a week. And yesterday I washed my sheets and like changed all my bedding. And then I was like heading into the shower and I was like, fuck, like I really want to wash my hair. Like... I don't want to get into my fresh sheets and like my fresh pillowcases with my dirty ass hair. So I washed my hair yesterday. Um, I didn't use as much shampoo as I usually do. I just wanted my hair to feel clean, but not too clean where my scalp is going to burn today. But it probably is going to burn. I just knocked my cactus over. God. So many things are happening this morning. It's like it's a sign from the universe that maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But if I cancel my appointment, I have to pay $50. So we're powering through. Okay. And then I just want to put in, oh, I guess I won't wear earrings since I'm getting my hair done. I just have these tiny little hoops in. It is just kind of annoying when they brush through your hair and you've got like big earrings in, you know? <sighs> Let's go look at the damage that I did to my cactus. I just threw my pajamas here so I could change, like put them away later and... There's my cactus, it was right there. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, well this is the fit, jeans, pink converse, and funky shirt. I'm not gonna add a necklace or anything because that also just kind of gets in the way when you do your hair. I always feel like such a YouTuber when I'm talking in a mirror with a camera and a tripod. I say as if I haven't had a YouTube channel for like two years but I tucked the shirt in and it's kind of doing that thing where it like bubbles out, but I think it's okay. Like I'm gonna be sitting down and wearing a cape the whole time anyway. And then 
this is. All my change, I brought a whole ton of quarters for parking and then hopefully if they take loonies and toonies, I've got a couple loonies and this loony is fucking disgusting. Like, why is it brown? Anyway, a quick monetary lesson. If you're not Canadian, loonies are $1, toonies are $2 and quarters are 25 cents. Yeah, sometimes parking meters only take quarters. So I brought a lot. I can't remember the exact parking ratio the city i live in like it maybe this is normal but wherever you park a quarter is worth something different yeah so i can't really remember how much it is to park in this area so i'm a little nervous but you know if we get another parking ticket i don't know i don't know <laughs> home and my lips are drier than the Sahara anyway here is my hair but yeah this is my hair I'm so happy with it it doesn't have the brown underneath anymore it's all the same color which I like I don't know if you have like brown underneath that's totally fine I'm not saying it's ugly I just didn't really like it and I felt it looked like especially when my hair wasn't styled it looked a little odd and made it look like incomplete or whatever but yeah I just got a full head of foils toned it and then a trim I just got my curtain bangs they're not as short maybe as I was hoping but I do like like them. I don't know, I just think I have such a long face that I don't want to get them like too short and have it look like really odd or anything like that. And my hair is getting so long, which is nice. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. My stomach does feel better. I no longer have the crippling anxiety that I had before, but that's because the hardest part is over. So like, what would, what do I have to be anxious about now? I am starving and I should have gotten food on the way home, but I was so nervous. I don't know why traffic was just kind of bad. And I was like, I'm just going straight home. And I have no food here like yeah and my stylist was so nice i really liked her and i had so much fun she was so sweet and we had like so many of the same opinions which i know like they're always like really nice to you when you're getting your hair done because whatever but she was really nice and i feel like i just vibed with her more than the last stylist i had which nothing against her we just got along better today i'm really happy with that I never know how to like end these videos because this is gonna be such a short video. I don't know, but this is my hair for now. I don't know what else I'm gonna talk about. So that's my hair.